Gonna interrupt the series. Right now, we need to talk about COVID. Yeah, let's do this. Lil Kirishan, K-R-I-Z-A-N-A. -E. I like to talk to you about the BS that goes through my brain while traveling alone to help you feel good for being you. <laughs> the following footage are experiences that are true to me and therefore do not mean that you will experience these same situations when visiting the country in question. I met the right Albanians before quarantine. I'm gonna go and get tested. Why? Because I might just. I would not have gone to get tested if it wasn't for Sonia. On Tuesday, the 19th of January, I started getting symptoms. By the time it reaches Thursday, we're just having a conversation. I've been in bed all day. I'm just not feeling too well, but I should be okay. We're gonna go get the test tomorrow. I think that's necessary. I mean, even if I do have COVID, I'll just stay home for 14 days. I mean, isn't that what everyone does? <laughs> no, we're gonna go and get the test done tomorrow and I will come with you. Okay, you know what? I'll go and get the test, but I don't need you to come with me. It's perfectly fine. It can sometimes be difficult even for Albanians to go and get this test. So I must go with you. I really wasn't expecting you to... Thank you. We'll go tomorrow. We need to get there before 10. Because of her, she was able to talk to the guy and explain my situation that he was then more than willing to do the test, even though he should have technically been closed at that time. So it all worked out. Now we all remember when I got tested in North Macedonia, right? Just a quick in and out and people were just like, oh, oh like a shit champ. But this time around, as I was going to get tested, I thought it would be the same thing, but no. When I was in North Macedonia, I didn't have COVID-19, therefore the swab test was painless. Guess what? It's positive! <laughs> but symptoms are different for everyone, so do be careful. And I'm just going to stay home because other than a runny nose, I need to make sure that I just stay away from everybody else. When I had COVID-19 here in Albania, it actually hurt because my nasal cavity was inflamed due to the infection. It didn't hurt and then it hurt. And recently in getting the test again to confirm that COVID-19 has actually passed through my system. Somewhat uncomfortable, but it wasn't unbearable. I'm just saying, I've noticed the pattern. I'm wearing a double mask right now because I'm just super paranoid and then it's turned out that I actually have COVID. Oh. But let's see what the symptoms are like. Most people tell me that I shouldn't tell others about this. But I want to document everything. I'm really curious just to see the symptoms that I get and how I deal with this. If it needs to lead to emergency or anything like that. Some of you are just like, would you just cover yourself, woman? It's cold. It's not, it's actually, maybe I'm just feverish. I've never actually taken my temperature before. We'll see, we'll see what temperature I'm at. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. At least I've got a good view. I mean, this is the right apartment to pick if you have COVID, right? Oh my gosh, we can do TikTok every single day as like a daily diary. Self-isolation countdown begins now. Oh no, I got COVID-19. To most people, they freak out about it. To me, it was like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna die? Maybe. Nobody knows. But what we do know is this bowl really is this bad. <laughs> Chicken soup, homemade. I know, I'm a genius. But it ain't gonna cure COVID. Let's just be real. I wanna document everything that I go through on the daily starting now because I think it's important not only to touch on the symptoms because you know, it's different for everybody, but what happens up in here and how we deal with things. And so far, I've learned that I need to listen to my body. I need to be in tune with my spirit just to make sure that I'm giving her what she needs. It's all about that. See you tomorrow. Mwah. As soon as I got the positive result, I then messaged my people and told them that I had COVID. I didn't get the paracetamol because I'm just one of those people that wants her body to deal with the pain. Sometimes I wonder. Day two of self-isolation or 13, whichever you want to call it. It doesn't really matter because Corona still exists. <laughs> I have been talking to myself a lot. Hello. <laughs> Making myself laugh. It's all about releasing the good energy, the positive energy to help your body heal, damn it. I've been breaking out in fevers on the daily. It's only been two days. 2,000 years is what you mean to say. Keep me covered for the duration of the fever in order for me to release the toxins easily. Am I just smart? Ah! When we think we're sick, we have a tendency to immediately think miserable. During this time, the last 48 hours, yes. I have been treating myself like a friend. When I am sick, I don't have what is necessary in me to be able to fight it alone. I need you to help me. 
So when I ask you for something, do it immediately in order for me to become strong again. Revelation! And right now it's just time me to go to sleep. Okay. This view is my saving grace. If it wasn't for this view, I think self-isolation would kill me faster. <laughs> Tomorrow will be the longest time that I have actually spent in my apartment. Just taking it step by step. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> I have been awake since 2 a.m. At 6 a.m. I decided to take down the rubbish because curfew was lifted and social distancing is inevitable. No one is around. Then I get up to my apartment. Hmm. Shortness of breath. <laughs> There's a difference between shortness of breath and near death. No, you have corona. I have to remind myself every now and then that I have corona because I feel good. So I'm up and I'm doing things. And then I'm like, ooh, this is a little heavy there. Ooh, that was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I've just had to pull back on that kind of stuff. A really good friend I've met over in Italy said this to me. You must be doing something right because you have people who want to help you. Every single time I come across people who want to help me and I've barely known them very long, it always hits deep and those words just keep coming back to me. I will always, always remember those words. I can taste again. No. Edald starts messaging me. Lil, give me an update. So I start listing everything for him. I'm coming with the pulse oximeter. It will measure your oxygen levels. Oh, I don't really think. So you need to understand something about me. I don't like to be a bother to anyone. No, no, I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Stop. You need this. Let Eral do what he needs to do to help you. Say yes. No. I love friends. <gasps> I asked him to buy a thermometer because the first one was faulty. I just measured my temperature and it's 39 degrees. And my friends are really worried. Finding out that I was 38.8, .8, I then tell him and then he's running around to get me paracetamol. Meanwhile, Sonia is running around trying to do my grocery shopping for me. I haven't been in this country long, right? I'm not from Albania. Lean out. I'm traveling and to have Corona while I'm traveling and then to have friends help me out. It's like, I'm blowing. I'm so blessed to have the humans that I have and the people that I know here in Saranda. You need friends to be able to help you during self-isolation because you're not allowed to go anywhere. And I don't know if they do delivery. But anyways, the maids are just checking on me. Are you alive and bringing me things to make sure that I stay alive? Nereki. I just so grateful for my humans. No. Before I had gone to bed that night, it was 37.2. So they were both calm that my temperature had dropped. But Erald immediately jumped on. We're going to see the doctor tomorrow. No, no, I don't think that's necessary. I'm breathing fine. I've been singing all day today. It's perfectly fine. Again, I don't want to be a bother. This virus, it eats away at your lungs and you don't know until it's too late. Can we just go and see the doctor tomorrow? No, 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 I don't need to see the doctor. Oh, I feel different this morning. I had restricted breathing. Every time I tried to take deep breaths, I would either feel nauseous or I'd drop into a coughing fit. Ah, I really get sick. It's hard to believe. I've never had the flu before. I get sick maybe every two, three years for a maximum three days. Have chicken soup for like two days. By the third day, you're basically fine. I didn't realize how inexperienced I am with being sick. I didn't know how to use thermometers. I had to check it on Google. You have to shake it to actually get the ch -ch -ch -ch. The first thermometer was a bad thermometer. This is what my mate gave me last night. We then realized that my fever was bad. Why did you tell us earlier? We could have got your paracetamol in. Paracetamol is for the fever. <laughs> I now know how to use a thermometer. <laughs> and then I end up talking to Sonia. No, you need to go and see the doctor because you never know. You've got to catch these things before they actually happen. Oh, man. Great. I'm going to have to go and see the doctor. The emergency area is where the doctor was. He gets someone else to translate for me. I actually said to the guy, I'm really here because my friends told me to come. I had to go and get a blood test. How long? We are outside with COVID. Oh. I need to go and get a blood test so that I can bring it back here and confirm that I am in fact okay. I went in and did the blood test. 5,500 left. Nah. I have to go home because I have to come back in about two to three hours to get the results. Let's do this. And we're back. I've got my results, but there's a really long queue of people waiting to get checked. So you're going to be patient, right? Eventually, I see the doctor. 
I give him my test results. He looks through it. He then writes down the prescriptions, shows me the prescriptions and explains what they are. Then he hands the paper to me. But do you need to check my breathing or anything? And he, yes. He grabs the paper again and he goes, this is antibiotics for your breathing. Oh, take the paper. I walk out. He didn't even touch me. He didn't even lay a finger on me. Even correct? Does anyone know if this is correct? Does he even know that I've got COVID? But I needed to see the doctor to get the antibiotics for my respiratory system that in fact helped clear out that shortness of breath. But I just have to go and get these drugs. This whole street has at least five different pharmacies in front of Sananda Hospital. I'm just gonna go into every single one and ask them for the pricing. She was going to charge me a hundred euros and I just went into another place where I instead paid about 40 euros. As I'm making the purchase, Sonia calls me and Jill, stop! I found a place, it's only gonna charge 9,000 like instead of 11,700. It's okay, I found a place that charges like 4,600. What? <laughs> A pharmacist, her mother actually went through COVID. So she understood what it's like. And she was just honest. Generic brands are normally a few dollars less. It's not more than 50% less to the top brands. Like, please, might as well go and get the surgery while we're here. I'm a tight ass. I do not like spending money at all. So having the opportunity to spend 50 euros less than everybody else, if not 100, makes me feel so good. I'm so blessed. Now, before you start thinking that because I'm a foreigner, that people actually increase prices on things, it's not the truth at all. Even locals here in Albania, in fact, get hard done by. Because that's a whole different vlog. All right. B. Thank you so much for everything that you have given me. You will go days on end if I don't feed you because I've accidentally forgotten to buy food and we're in the middle of traveling. You will carry my 40 kilo suitcase for miles. I don't even know what that metric system is, but anyways. I don't know what I did to get this body, but I'm so damn grateful because she's strong as and she just does not give up. She keeps going on harder than she's ever gone before. So when I was working out last night, I just had a moment of crying because I am so blessed. It's beyond me sometimes. And this is something to always be grateful for because it's with you day in, day out. Wishing you and your body all the goodness. Let's go see if we're positive or negative. Aww. And now we have to wait for the results. We don't know when we're getting them, but we're not gonna argue because <laughs> he fit me in even though he was like, no, you can't. Oh wait, you're the girl who was positive. So something about Tirana. So I'm like, okay, now to go home and wait. Mm. You wanna know what's hard? It's walking around and thinking in your mind that you're okay. So you just want to go into the supermarkets and do all your You can't. You gotta go home, fool. When you're outside and you don't want to go inside. As you're going to go and get your test to see if you were negative, you kind of freak out a little and you're just, all the symptoms come back because your badge is like, oh my gosh, we got it, we, we still got it. And you're just there going, dude, just pull yourself together, get tested. So, now the waiting game. <laughs> I hope in time for the weekend I can be free, but nobody knows. Just last week, I was listening out to the bell and I was like, wait, that's a different ring to what I'm used to. And at that time I thought, okay, I think it may be a funeral. And now in looking over, I've realized that it is for a funeral. I don't know if this is linked. You just gotta be grateful. Yes, I remember saying, oh my gosh, we just found out. She literally called for me. We're telling her Claudia here at Rock's Cafe to like the best coffee that I'm not checking. Oh, it feels so good to be outside and being allowed to be outside. If you know what I mean. I mean, I don't my time. To think that I was actually watching from up there. I can even see my apartment. <gasps> I 
friends around you that are aware of the symptoms of COVID-19. So the good thing for me was the fact that Erald's dad had just come out of COVID-19. So he knew exactly what he was dealing with. And then having Sonia, who knew for me to go and get tested, who helped do my grocery shopping. I never know what I do to find these people. But Albania just helped me get through COVID. And to this very moment, I am struck with the kindness of these Albanians that I had met at the end of last year. And they were here helping me. Who's not from this country, knows nobody in this country, no one, happens to meet the right Albanians before she goes into quarantine. My start to this country may have been bad, no, my stay as well as my leaving of this country is just my heart. It's just so big for Albania because I just happen to have COVID-19 in the right country because I was surrounded by the right people. Fala min derechim. If you like this vid, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Click the bell at the very end. Why? So you are reminded of when my man is his next release. Lil Krishan, K-R-I-Z-A-N-A. -A. Stay healthy.